Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. Well, the Belmont High School varsity athletic teams are in the midst of their winter seasons. The Belmont Journal volunteer Chet Messer brings us up to date. The Belmont girls hockey team suffered their first loss this past Wednesday in a game against a strong, talented Woburn Tanners team. The final score was 4 to nothing. The Tanners dominated the game, requiring Bridget Gray, the Belmont goalie, to stop 58 other shots on net. This is Jet Messer reporting. The girls' record is now three wins, one loss, and three ties. That places them third in the Middlesex Liberty Division behind Woburn and Arlington. On January 27, the boys' hockey team played the Reading Rockets on their home ice. Belmont scored first on goals by Matt Palmer and Cam Fici. Later in the game, the Rockets scored their two goals to not the game, which ended in a 2-2 tie. The second goal by the Rockets came with only minutes left in the game. This past Wednesday, the boys' teams faced the boys' Auburn Tanner team. They suffered the same fate as the Belmont girls, losing to Woburn, three goals to zip. This was only the first loss by the Morata boys' hockey team, dropping their record to four wins, one loss, and two ties. They now occupy second place in the Middlesex Liberty Division behind Woburn. On January 23, the boys' basketball team faced the Reading Rockets in Belmont. With two minutes and 30 seconds to go, Belmont was up by four. From that point on, Belmont outscored Reading nine to four. Number 42, Kevin Logan hit a three-point shot. Preston Jackson Stevens drove to the hoop for a two-point layup. After a long-range miss by Redding and a rebound by Kevin Hogan, he passed to Matt McHugh, who streaked down the court and found Caleb Christensen under the hoop for a two-point layup. When he was fouled, Caleb Christensen made two free throws to finish Belmont scoring in a 74-65 win over the Reading Rockets. On February 3, the Marauders traveled to Reading for a second game. With 38.8 seconds to go, Reading held a 56-54 lead. They had the ball on their offensive end. After three unsuccessful attempts at making a basket, Reading player number 11 was fouled. It was a non-shooting foul, so he was awarded a one-in-one -one opportunity, and he made both foul shots. Reading now led 58-54. Reading scored another basket to put them up by six. A jump shot by Belmont from the right side missed the mark but the rebound was gathered by Preston Jackson Stevens and he scored to bring Belmont back within four points, but only 1.9 seconds remained on the clock. After a Belmont timeout, Redding successfully inbounded the ball and ran out the clock for a victory. This loss to Redding dropped the Belmont record to an even three wins and three losses for a fourth place showing in the Middlesex Liberty Division. There are only two things you need to know about the girls basketball team when they played the Woburn Tanners on January 23. The Marauders jumped off to a 15 to zip lead halfway through the first period. For the next three and a half quarters, the Tanners girls team outscored Belmont 53 to 20, gaining a going away wind of 53 to 35. The Marauda girls team bounced back quickly and defeated the Reading Rockets girls team at Belmont on January 30 by a score of 74-63. Number 14, Nina Manikosi, was the top scorer with 15 points. Her offense was assisted by number 4, Reese Shapazian, who contributed 11 points, and number 3, Kiki Cristofori, who also added 11 points. Number 22, Maria Lilla added nine, as did Reed Meyer for a balanced attack. This past Wednesday night, the Marauder girls defeated Redding a second time in a game played on Redding's home court. In this game, number 10, Abby Morin provided some offensive support driving to the hoop, which included a nifty left-handed jump hook shot. Bridget Martin was also a significant contributor and alertly picking up a loose ball in the paint and laying it back in. 
Nina Menakazi contributed this twisting underneath the basket layup as a part of her arsenal of shots. With two wins over Reading, the Marauder girls now have a record of five wins and two losses, putting them in second place in the Middlesex Liberty Division, behind the Arlington Spy Ponders. The Belmont girls team will play a home-and-home -home series against Arlington in the next two weeks. This past week, the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association, which governs high school sports in Massachusetts, announced the modification to rules for normal fall sports to be played in a so-called wedge season starting in mid-February and running to late April. The wedge is the time between the normal end of winter sports and the beginning of spring sports. The next steps for Belmont teams will be determined by the Belmont High School School Administration and the Middlesex League officials as to which schools will compete and in what sports.